How to speed up a slow laptop or PC, for free. Looking to speed up a slow laptop or PC. Here is the key simple and free steps that anyone can take to speed up a PC or laptop. Whether it happens gradually over time or all of a sudden, trying to work with a slow computer can be seriously frustrating. Even if you are fairly diligent with the maintenance of your laptop or PC, it's surprising how quickly things slow down. Thankfully, you don't have to trade in your computer just yet. In fact, you can take several steps to give it a bit of a boost in the performance department. With some simple decluttering and a few more technical operations, even the slowest computer can return to its old self. Here's how to speed up a slow laptop. Number 1. Close System Tray Programs If your computer is off to a slow start, then it's possible you have too many programs starting up at the same time as Windows itself. Items in the system tray often launch at startup and then stay running while you use your computer. To access these items, click the upwards arrow toward the right side of your taskbar. If there are any programs you don't need to have running, right-click them and close. Number 2. Stop programs running on startup. Right-click the taskbar and select Task Manager or hit Control shift escape to launch. Head to the Startup tab and you'll be able to view each item that runs on Startup, along with its impact. Go through these and decide which ones don't need to start automatically. But note that some of these programs are vital for Windows to operate. For example, the ones with Microsoft listed as the publisher are probably best left alone. If you aren't sure, either leave it or try a Google search to find out more. To disable, simply right-click and hit Disable. Remember, you're not disabling the program, just the fact that it runs on startup. For Windows 7, instead of accessing Task Manager, you'll need to search for System Configuration. Number 3. Update Windows, Drivers, and Apps. If you think you might have missed an update, you can always check. Go to Start and click Settings or the Settings icon. Then go to Updates and Security Windows Updates. Aside from your Windows operating system, drivers and apps should be kept up to date too. Again, this is good for both security and performance. If you think you might have missed an update, a quick online search should tell you which version you should be using. Number 4. Delete Unnecessary Files Free up space by making a habit of deleting files and folders each week and emptying the recycle bin afterwards. Doing this regularly means it's more likely you'll remember exactly what's in the files and folders and won't be so concerned about mistakenly deleting something important. Handy tip, HDDs usually run at peak speed until they reach roughly 90% capacity. So if you check how much space is used up and you're over 90%, that's probably what's slowing things down. SSDs slow down more gradually as they fill up, so it's good to stay on top of things. It's recommended not to fill an SSD to more than 75% of its capacity. Number 5. Find programs that eat up resources. Right-click the taskbar and select Task Manager. Click More Details to find out information about the programs that are currently running on your computer. It should show you the Processes tab by default. You can click each header to sort the list according to which applications are using the most of that particular resource. If you need to close something, try closing the actual application first. If it won't close, come back to the Task Manager screen, right-click the application, and hit End Task. For Windows 7, instead of accessing Task Manager, you'll need to search for System Configuration. Number 6. Adjust Your Power Options Go to Control Panel Hardware and Sound Power Options Create a Power Plan. Choose which existing plan you would like to start with. Enter a name for your new plan, and select Next. Basic options include how long the display stays on for when you're inactive and how long before the computer goes into sleep mode. These won't really affect your computer's speed, but if you go into Change Advanced Power Settings, you can make more adjustments that will have an impact. Number 7. We often install huge programs without realizing how much space they're taking up. If you think that might be the case, you can easily uninstall any programs you don't use. To uninstall a program, head over to Control Panel Programs Programs and Features. Go through the programs and decide which ones, if any, you don't need. If you're unsure about a particular program, 
you could simply use a search engine to find out more. Alternatively, you can also use a tool like the aptly named PC Decrapifier to help you distinguish the good from the bad. Number 8. Turn Windows Features On or Off While you're in the Programs and Features screen, you might want to check to see if there are any Windows components you don't need. Click Turn Windows Features On or Off. You'll want to be careful you don't turn off anything you actually need. So again, a search for anything you're unsure about is a good idea. Number 9. Run a disk cleanup. Windows comes with a built-in tool for cleaning up junk that accumulates over time. To access the disk cleanup tool, go to Control Panel System and Security Administrative Tools, and select Disk Cleanup from the list. Here, you can select the types of files you want to get rid of and click OK. Then click Clean Up System Files and choose any system files you want to remove. Hope this video is helpful for you. In my next video I'll show you some more method, till then take care, thanks for watching make sure to subscribe.